Hi, welcome back. I'm Kelly Conwisher. I'm grateful that you are life designing with me in our 90 day goal together. This is the beginning of week three. And if you are practicing along with me, the way I do it is I do my weekly reflection now that full two weeks are over. And then I also consider this day one of the upcoming week. I did go to question, um, is it okay to do your weekly reflection there on the seventh day? So uh, that you would be uh, reflecting back on day seven so that you can then start day eight or in this case day 15 going forward. Absolutely. I just do it a diff well, that one day over, um, but that's really up to you. The big uh, practice, the habit that we want to get in, um, in practice of doing is making sure that we are spending time reflecting back before we head into the new week. So you could do that at the end of the week or like I do it uh, the first day of heading into this new week as I plan my week and I think about what are those big goals I want to accomplish. So right now I'm reflecting back and I'm thinking about um, how this past week went, but there was a few surprises in this past week uh, and it did make staying on, on track a little bit harder than I wanted it to be. I did miss a day of, of in my, my practice of the daily Hebrew and daily dose of Greek, um, but I chose to just make it up. So I did two the next day. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can either make it up or you can just move on um, and just keep going. And I, either one's great. Just that happened to me this week. So I'm just kind of reflecting back. Why did that happen? How was I feeling? Is there something different I can put into my rhythms uh, to keep going? Um, and then I am listening to God. What is God saying to me about uh, my life design, where I'm going, prayed that out, um, and then uh, today I want to focus in on, am I behind goal, am I ahead of goal, or am I on track? And the way that I want to kind of look at that this week will be thinking about the way that you stated your 90-day goal, and is it helping you, is it motivating you, and is it, keep you, is it keeping you going? So this whole week we're going to focus on how to design a 90-day goal, and if this is something that you've already done super well, then this will be a reinforcement or maybe a moving from amateur to professional status and how you articulate a goal. Um, if this is your first go at it, um, this could be a way to recover uh, your energy by modifying, revising, or focusing in on your 90 day goal in a new way. Uh, so we do encourage in uh, the in the unique life design practice to state your 90 day goal as a smart goal. In other words, it is um, using that uh, that practice of saying, "Is my goal specific?" So we want something that is just extremely granular. So we don't want to say, "Hey, I'd like to be more healthy." That's really great, but what do we mean by that? Drilling down, is that a physical health goal? Is it an emotional health goal? Is it a spiritual health goal? Um, is it some other type of health relationally? Um, what do you mean by I wanna be more healthy? So something that gets into the specifics of what you're going for um, is super, super important. Um, the next one is the measurability of it. In other words, how are you going to keep track of it? What are you going to consider to be success? How are you going to break down this big goal into small bite-sized pieces that you know that you can uh, win and measure that win? So we want it to be very specific and very measurable. We also want it to be attainable. <laughs> so uh, we want it to be aspirational and attainable, meaning it's, it's going to take a little energy and effort, uh, but you can do it. We know we know you can do it. It is possible with the resources that you have and your real life going on that you can attain that goal. So that's really important. We want it to be results oriented. Uh, we want it to be something that is focused on the output. It focuses on that person that you are um, forming into and, and moving into being. It is something that helps you reach your one year goals. Um, whether directly or indirectly. Um, so it is results oriented, 
And finally, it's time bound. It is time bound by definition in this process because it's a 90 day goal. Uh, but we're, we're gonna dive into each one of those more specifically each day of this week. Um, just give you a couple more tips and maybe some insights into how you can um, stay motivated um, and possibly uh, edit, tweak your 90 day goal as you have it articulated now um, to get the most out of that articulation. Uh, so this week, we do want to continue on uh, practicing the habits you've formed. You've got two weeks under your belt. Um, and as you look at planning your week, again, uh, for me, looking back on the days that were harder or I had to kind of engineer in my daily dose of Greek and daily dose of Hebrew, I noticed for me, it was because I didn't do it um, early in the morning. There were two days this week where I wasn't able to get up early, get my workout in, do my daily dose of Greek and Hebrew. Once my day gets going as a mom, as a wife, um, as a pastor, as a leader, like things just start happening and I don't have as much discipline to stop, take a break and focus on a daily dose of Hebrew in the middle of the day. Uh, so for me, I noticed that. So what are what are the patterns that you're noticing that uh, help you be successful with a 90 day goal? And what are the patterns that you're noticing? Oh, when this happens or doesn't happen, that that gets me off track. Can you focus now your week in such a way that you engineer those things into the right places? You're, you're planning your week. What are the five most important things you want to um, accomplish this week or get done this week or scratch off the list this week? Um, definitely name those, put those down, and then plan and design your week in order to get those done and to celebrate that um, when we gather again next week. Make sure that those um, have something to do with your 90 day goal. They don't all have to do directly with your 90 day goal, but we wanna make sure we're still moving forward with that. Uh, we we wanna make sure that all that we've done to reflect and listen to God and hear from God are reflected in how we're approaching our week. What is God saying to me? How am I stepping into that this week? And how can I be more open to the power of the spirit to helping me be successful and staying connected to God's power as we go forward. All right, so this is a new week. It's week three, and I'm encouraging you to really uh, practice all that you've been building. We're, we're going we're gonna to kind of lean in now to these rhythms. Your now rhythms are energizing you, fueling you for week three. You've reflected back on week two. You've planned week three, and now we're going to hit it by looking at our SMART goal, our 90-day goal, and crushing it. 90 days together. I'm Kelly Conwinshire. Kelly at futurechurch.co is my email. Want to hear from you, and I will see you tomorrow.